What's up everyone, it's Klipski here at Gamescom. The developers of Little Planet 3 had a live stream on Twitch where they showed off around 30 minutes of LBP3's create mode. I will leave a link in the description of where I got the footage from so you guys can check it out if you want. I also want to quickly mention that I am in the LPP3 private beta, so if there is no NDA, I will be making videos to cover all aspects of the beta, so make sure you guys subscribe to not miss out on anything. So now, here is the live stream footage from Gamescom, let's jump into it. One of the key things in Little Big Planet 3 that we've you know, gone from Little Big Planet 2 and Little Big Planet 1 is that we've gone from three playable layers because they could in the or, or, in the older games sure. they could only make so much. It's kind of limited, but the community actually found ways to glitch layers and put stuff oh, wow. in the background. So it looks really cool, but you you really couldn't let's say um, interact with it. You okay, know? you can only have Sackboy go with, with those three layers. So we at Sumo Digital and Sony decided to say let's go from three to sixteen playable layers. So as you can see right there. Already loads of depth. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. Right, right. But I put this together like in maybe 30 minutes. I think it's the prettiest thing in the yeah. world. Thank For you me, very much. that's heaven. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Made a basketball game in Little Big Planet 2. You really couldn't do that. You couldn't throw things into the world and it won't come back at you. But now, like, let's say if this was made in Little Big Planet 2, it would only go side to side. But oh, because it, yeah. it was an illusion. Exactly. Right. So now, oh, that's see, you're bad at basketball. I am. See, <laughs> just like in real life. So <laughs> I think you can get those hoops. Yeah. I you got it. At least one, man. I yeah. normally made it to like make myself look good, but obviously I'm not doing yeah. a very good job with that. Yeah, you, yeah. You're, you're yeah. failing as a designer oh, right now. No. Bit. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? Can you dunk it, man? Fly from half court. <laughs> just Whoa. Over. Whoa. Oh. Bell. <laughs> that was it. Dunk yourself. Dunk your own body. Boom. That was incredible. Yeah, job done. It was a chaos dunk. That was amazing. <laughs> I asked you if you could do it. You and just, I did. You it. just owned it. You <laughs> made it happen. <laughs> Anything can happen in this game now. Exactly. <laughs> so one of the cool things that we did, because we've added so many layers, we've added these things called 3D layer tools. And one of them is the layer launcher. And it's like kind of like a circus cannon that shoots Sackboy into the world, out of the world, so on and so forth. So I'm going to try to make this shot. We'll see where it goes okay. from here. Please work. Hey. Yeah. yeah oh, see, man. more interactivity in the background. Yeah, there's so much going on. Yep. <laughs> and you just throw yeah. yourself. Oh. Bye. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's, hey. that's really some of the cool things that you can do. And it's really easy to place into the world as well. So you just go into a tools bag, find it right here, a layer launcher. And then you can actually set in the layer launcher what layer you want to go to. So it's completely customizable. Like, you can just pop it in there and then slide into the menus like this. And then right here, you can go forward, backwards. So let's aim for that bit right here, the, the target, and see what happens. And then once you've done that, just bounce right on. Oh, it's so awesome. I still love that cat that's there. <laughs> you know, just a cat rocketing into space, oh, because that's why so not? Good. Because it's a little big planet. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, it makes sense there. Yeah. Oh, that's really, so really awesome. Really, really interesting things. Yeah, and of course, like, all the new characters that you've added, or that we've added to the game, and we'll actually get to that. You can add too. Um, can activate, you know, can use all these um, these tools as well. And so the next bit is the slide. And now, if you've ever been on a slide, I hope you have. I've done that. Okay, so several you times. <laughs> I, I might be sliding right now. You do yeah. look low. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> low down in this chair. This chair is just a natural sliding machine. Yeah, definitely. So the slide here it allows Sackboy and friends to just go from the background to the foreground like that. Just kind of like a playground. So if you ever wanted to make like a playground level, something like, right. you know, kind of like an Indiana Jones type thing where you're getting chased by something and you're like, oh, shoot, I got to slide down. Yeah, stuff like that. Really good. And then, again, like I mentioned, not only can Sackboy use it, his friends can too. So here we have Sackboy pushing. Oh, you just knocked him around. <laughs> yeah, just knocked him around. Well, that's what friends are for, yeah, right? Exactly. Oh, and then you blow yeah. him up even better. <laughs> That's the way it works. That a little big plan. Not that awesome. we encourage as a company, but yeah. no. you got your real friends. No, but they're, yes. Let's legally they're disclaim sacks. that right now. <laughs> they're sack friends. You're sack yeah. friends. They're yeah. sack friends. Sack full. Fair game. Sack they're built food. to do these kind of things. <laughs> and the cool thing is, you can actually edit and customize the way the slides look. So you can have something that looks solid over here, like that, or you can make you can add a water material. To Could it. you make cats come out of it? You make cats come out of everything if you okay, want. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Basically, once the game comes out, we're going to be watching for your cat level. Yeah. Cat I everything. Cats. I love cats. I want rocket cats. You want rocket I cats? Want rocket cats. It'll, it'll, be, be, right now. it'll be all cats all the time. <laughs> yeah, so you can go down the slides relatively slow. You can customize the, how fast you go down them as well. So you go from there, and then more blowing up. <laughs> oh, that's so good. And you can, can go I... relatively fast <laughs> like that. 
in yeah. and out of the world. Yeah, really, I, I've really seen simple it. stuff right here. Yeah, and all that stuff that wasn't there uh, before in part two with the depth. Right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Because we've added those sixteen layers, so we want to make sure that you, you know you were able to play all over the place. Yeah, that's so cool. It's really neat stuff. So it, in a way, you know, we, we, it's kind of like adding so many three D elements to a two D, you know, relatively two D game. Yeah, was and that difficult? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because you have to have it make sense, right? So people can add layers that are playable. I yeah. mean, if that, if that, if that no, makes that, sense. No, that's totally understandable. Um, we just made sure that, because the community, and we, we love the community. Actually, I'm from the community myself. Okay. Yeah, I was hired. Uh, to, yeah. Because you like, just, you were the guy that. I made some just, interesting yeah, levels. Yeah, you made some series. great stuff. <laughs> made some pretty interesting levels. Um, yeah, but uh, some of the things I made, I made like a, a top down. Fighting game, okay. Um, just you know, gigantic monsters and everything like Naturally. that. It's a lot easier to do with the 3D layers now because oh, you're so not cool. fighting, you know, glitches and everything like that. We're just being said, go for it, go for it. And so like, you guys were, well, I mean, you're from the community, right? So, yeah. um, but there's other people in the community, and, and so how did you like hear them out? I mean, forums, emails, yeah, yeah. Facebook, we have a, we have Twitter. Very, very that's about a million community. ways they can reach us, to uh, be right. honest. And they yeah. do, and they do, and you know, we, we spent a lot of time listening to their feedback. And since a lot of us who actually work at Sumo Digital are from the community as well, who've been hired you know, by, by us, it's, um, we, 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 like, we really take it to heart the, some of the things that you know, we want to change. Like, obviously, you know, being not, or, excuse me, not being a developer and you know, seeing a game, you want things to like, work out. I want, oh, I wish they had this, I wish they had this. Yeah. So we really tried, you know, obviously, as coming from the community, we're like, yeah, let's let's see if we can do that. And yeah. Yeah. That's why we that's why we went with this route as well. That's awesome. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Definitely. Yeah. And so another one of the three D layers that I want to show you, this is the bendy rail. So it's kind of like taking a wire between two points and just wrapping it around everything. You make loop de loops the whole nine. You can be as straight or as curved as you want it to be. And the cool thing is, if you want to make a roller coaster level, this is probably the best tool to use. Those are some really, of the best. Really simple things. Yeah, yeah, we've got um, a guy called Josh Hughes. Hi, Josh. If you're probably <laughs> watching. He has spent about five years at every event. Every time I see him, he's like, all I want to do is build roller coasters. I keep trying to find ways. Pretty much this has come in because people like him <laughs> yeah. are so passionate with their roller coaster love. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So all you need to do, really, is place a bendy rail, and then you can connect this thing right here called a rail. It's a caster-like thing. Uh, to any object, and it will actually ride right. the rails go right. back and forth. And you can also, like, obviously edit its speed right here. Oops. There we go. Oh, yes. you know that people are just going to go. Yeah, they're like, oh, what is that? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, all these little things here. It's just going to be <laughs> as fast as possible. Yeah, I make bet it, you, yeah. <laughs> and then they'll find a way to make it even faster. Yeah, exactly. So not only can objects ride on it, Sackboy and friends can as well. So we have a Sackbot grabbing it here. Bringing all the people. Yeah, maybe. Come on, oh, come, uh, on I'll talk. come on, come on, come on. No, oh. there you go. <laughs> that was adorable, but yet somewhere, that was a somewhere weird, adorable violence. Yeah. It's, it's the Little Big Planet way. And the cool thing is, uh, you can actually make them invisibles. So, as you can see here, they're actually riding on the bendy rails, but it doesn't really look like it. And they're just oh, yeah. riding smoothly through the deep layers. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 in and out, in and out. And, like, if I wanted to make a shoot 'em up, Right, if I wanted to make like an asteroid side level, all I need to do is place the bendy rails for their, their the enemy's pathway. So I don't have no longer have to make really really complex logical bits and whatnot. Because uh, well, to be fair, it, it can, we can get really complicated. Yeah, yeah. yeah how get, complicated were some of those user generated stages? Like how we had I mean, people. The calculator was still yeah. the thing that somebody built like from Little Big Planet One. That's before we had proper logic systems yeah. from Little right. Big Planet Two. A working calculator. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> a working calculator. Yep. One of the guys that we... Um, what? Yeah. Yeah, it was... <laughs> That's insane. That's amazing. Yeah, it's really wild. Y you can really go nuts. And like one of the guys that, uh, we, of course, we hired, uh, Steve Big Guns. Or Steve Big Guns. Guns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think he's got the guns. He, he's yeah, got just, a, just a couple. Just a couple. Steve yeah. Big Guns. <laughs> <laughs> kind of small now. But um, he made a first-person shooter. And again... Yeah. These are things you, don't, you really can't expect to make. You're like, uh, can we do that? Wow. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully a lot and of these tools make it easier for it's players. It's crazy. Is crazy. Yeah. Ilka made himself made a seven-part sci-fi drama series in it. Yeah. There was like a That's puzzle. Find it. It's yeah. astonishing. We've had wedding proposals. Uh, we've through had, the game? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. They're, uh, they're, they're beautiful things. <laughs> wow. Yeah, a lot of them. Have you had any divorces? Via? Um, 
I hope well, that we, only, we only hey, bring This game has 16 layers now. 16 it's layers of wedding together. bliss, That's we like better to than think. a burrito, right? That's, burritos have some layers. A 16 layer burrito? A 16 layer burrito. <laughs> yeah, we'll it's a lot that. of sour cream in this yeah. thing. There you go. <laughs> so anything's possible. Yeah, most definitely. And then I was talking about adding your own characters. Right. So in Little Big Planet 2, you, you were able to co sort of customize a sack bot and kind of control them and make them do what you want. But the, we try to make it, we tried to make it a lot easier in Little Big Planet 3. So you can do the same thing with any of the characters that are in, the, you know, the new ones, like Toggle, Swoop, Sackboy, and uh, who did I forget? Oddsock, yeah. Oh, I can actually get Oddsock. How can you not remember the names, <laughs> Shame man. on me. So yeah, what I'm showing you now is character customization. And right here, I'm going to show you a little bit of the logic systems that we used. Because normally, yeah, um, normally it wasn't like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, in Little Big Planet too, we did have that, uh, but this makes it a lot easier. Yes, it does make yeah. it way easier. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna give Toggle the ability to fly. Oh. Normally he can't do that. No. So, yeah. So we, what we? Yeah. With the character customization, you can give him. You, know, you can give your characters almost anything that you want using logic systems and everything. Like if you want them to throw fireballs. Sure. Sure. If it you makes want sense. Him, yeah. If you want him to jump higher, if you want him to make make him run really Dude. fast. Want to shoot cats? You can shoot yeah, cats. Yeah, you can shoot cats, definitely. That's incredible. Yeah, rocket cats. Rocket cats just rocket like out cats. of his that eyes. That sounds like a great pop shoot, song. Shooting yeah. cats out. Make him as big as he yeah, wants to be. Yeah, make him as big as you want. Then we can also change the head size. And then we can maybe even find an appropriate costume for our flying toggle. We I think you should up. pick. You pick. Your choice. Oh, the cheerleader, man. Everyone, Everyone picks, picks the cheerleader. cheerleader. Then I don't want to pick the cheerleader then. <laughs> Oh, that's no, beautiful. No, look at him. <laughs> okay, I like it. Looking well, lovely. I like the braces. That's yeah. a beautiful touch. So let's go ahead and make sure that we can actually control and you know set up the logic system so that they can fly. I've added an advanced mover so that they can you know fly re relatively fast when I hold R1. And another cool thing that we added was the character cut, uh, character animation tweaker. So what that does is I can set loads of different types of animations and set it for any type of action that I want to do. So if I wanted Toggle to like swag walk when he's flying. Swag walk yeah. fly. You got to have that. Yeah, yeah, I got that, that swag <laughs> fly. <laughs> Most definitely. So um, yeah, we can do that, but I'm just going to set it to underwater walking for okay. now. So whenever I press R1 and start flying, it looks very different from you know something else. And right. You can add all oh, loads of different things like like underwater like walking. Yeah. I like that. I'm yeah. still I'm still hooked on that. What does underwater walking look like? Wait, let's get there. I want to see an underwater street fight. Oh, uh, we can we'll get there. Let's, we, let's let, have that let, too. Let's make it happen. I want to see that. So, okay. So now that it looks like we've got all the bits set up, let's go ahead and go to this thing called the character change gate, which allows us to save the characters that we have just made. And there we go. That, e that easy. Okay. Just like that. And then you can always go back to it because it's saved in your, in your game. You select that. And then all we do now is just run off to the change gate, press triangle, and no longer we are sack boy, but we are the person that we just made. Yeah. Yeah, like that. This beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful it's cheerleader. It's wonderful. Hey. Hello. Hello. How are you got doing, those guys? streamers. <laughs> got those streamers on your wrist, girl. There you go. Looking is. good. Yeah, looking way good. So. Now, that, here we that go. That yep. underwater oh. swag walk? <laughs> that Whoa. is an underwater swag walk right here. What is that? Look at that thing. Yeah. So, yeah, normally you couldn't do that no. in, you know, with, with Toggle in the story mode, but in crate mode, in any, of you, in any of the levels that you want to make, you can go nuts. You can go nuts. So let's go ahead and go back to Sackboy. Oh, yeah. oh, he's back. Yep, looking good so far, looking good so far. So um, have there any been other any interesting questions? come along our way? All about rocket cats, frankly. Rocket cats. Oh, All they want people want is more rocket cats. <laughs> Listen, if there's oh, other there questions out there cats. beyond cat, I know we could probably talk about rocket cats for a long time. Uh, has there ever been a cat in space? I think so, right? But a rocket yeah. cat in space, whatever. We'll make it happen. Ask real questions. Come on. So we got the beautiful people here to answer. <laughs> yeah, because I think a lot of the questions we get is, because this is the first time the Little Big Planet's on PlayStation 4, it's obviously out on PlayStation 3 as well, is that people want to know how we're taking advantage of all the cool new features we have. Yeah. The big question we get is, are we using the touchpad on the PlayStation 4? Yeah, most definitely. So we'll run through on this. Yep, so you can use the touchpad. You, know, you move your finger around. You can use it to navigate menus by swiping left, right, up, and down. And then you can also select objects in the world, like this. And Because we came from Little Big Planet Vita before this, and we learned a lot Oh, using the touch functions that it, that had, and it made it a lot more tactile for people to play who are like, especially creators who were kind of sort of, uh, I guess, 
like, whoa, that, that might be a bit much with all the controls and whatnot. So they, you, what you can do, you can move, move objects like this, you can like paste things, you know, just use your finger to just right. paint anything. Scribble stuff yep, on. Exactly. Right. Exactly. I mean, it's kind of like how, you know, everybody has a touch object in their hand, like a phone, a pad, a tablet. Yeah. So yeah, we wanted to add those functions to them. And then another cool thing that we did, you know, we, we brought it to create mode as well, as obviously you're seeing here. So what I'm going to do here, our robot does not have a head. So I'm going to use touch create by swiping up, 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 and going into the goodies bag and placing material. And this, the touch functions work for like, you know, decorations, materials that you want to place in the world, objects. And you can resize them by using the multi-touch as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, resize and then like rotate. For a lot of people, that's going to be Yeah, it'll make it a lot, yeah, a lot easier for just to jump in. Yeah. Yep, and then we can go ahead and just press on the touchpad there to place it in. And now our robot has a head. Oh, OK, I see it now. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, there you are, Peter. <laughs> there it is. What? I see it now. But another cool thing that we can do with touch is we can actually paint and make our own stickers. Tell me more. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, please. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and make our own sticker here. By making all this stuff so much more accessible, the amazing content creators you already had, they're going to be able to oh do more. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. going to be even easier for them. And then you have like people like me like who are intimidated before. They're like, I'll try yeah. it. Yep. I'll That's try it. My level's going to be really bad, though. You have, like, how many years has the franchise been around now? Five, over five years Over now. five yeah. years. So you have people who've been doing this since day one. I could have been one of those people. But I decided you to go been, with Twitch. You could have been, but you went, I decided no. to go with Twitch instead. That was, that was a mistake. I could have been the greatest <laughs> level designer ever for Little Big Planet. This, we so could have been yeah. doing the interview, yep. and this we would have been, been you sat here. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. They call Johnny Long Legs. That would have been, because, you know, you got Stevie Big Guns or whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, hi. Yeah, that's one of the things you can do. And that's or his face now? If you actually, yeah, if you take your time, sure. this would have been way too long to show you guys. Right, right, yeah. right, right. But, yeah, we did this earlier. And, of course, you can use the touchpad. You can get really, really complex. Cause oh, I, I certainly, yeah. certainly. There was also a feature in um, Little Big Planet 2 with the move where you could also paint your own stickers. And people made some really amazing artworks. That's incredible. So, yeah, just imagine what you could do now with the, you know, the yeah, touchpad. Yeah, with the, the yeah, with the precision of yeah. you want to get that Most angle definitely. just right. Exactly, exactly. And so the next bit I want to show you here, this is probably my favorite edition of the game. <laughs> um, this is the power-up creator. Okay. Yeah, so in the earlier games, uh, people would like, you know, try to make really cool things for a sack boy to hold or whatnot, but it was it never felt as good as like someone like the, we had a grapple hook and it was always on his hand. We had the, the grab and Yeah, yeah, I remember all yeah, that stuff. stuff yeah. all that. Now you can actually make your own power-ups and they will be in your hand and they'll be function just like the way our other power-ups do in the game. For example, in the story mode we have this uh, yeah, <laughs> we have this power-up called the Pumpinator. And it blows things out of the way. It takes things into you, so on and so forth, by just pressing L1 and R1. But we used the pop uh, the power up creator to make that. See, that's the thing about Little Big Planet. All the tools that we use in to make the game, all the story mode stuff, it's in, in the game. Yeah, we right. we, uh, we give that to the community. So if they really wanted to, they can remake the story levels. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And their own awesome. vision and their yeah, own way. Yeah, exactly. Their exactly. own, uh, their own take on it. Right. That's pretty rad. Mm -hmm. oh. Watch out. Yeah. Crazy Watch stuff. out. I almost got you. So I'm going to provide you an example of what Show things me. that we can do. So with the pop with the uh, <laughs> the power up creator, you can take any object that you have collected in the game and make it into a power up. So for example, in, in you add logic, you can make it as simple or, or as complex as you wanted to. So if you wanted to make banana nunchucks. You could totally do banana that. Banana nunchucks. Banana nunchucks. Oh, please, please, someone make banana nunchucks. <laughs> we challenge you, community, yes. day one. We will give you a pin for banana nunchucks. Yep. So the way you do it is that you add this little logic bit called the blaster handle. You can place it on anything. You can place it on this, that, whatever. And that base essentially you know, says, this is going to be a power-up that I can put in Sackboy's hand. And then, obviously, I added loads of logic here. Well. To be fair, this really only took me maybe 30 minutes to build. You, yeah. It looks pretty. Yeah, there, there's lots of random things going yeah, on. Yeah, in there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> logic there, logic there, logic That's there. That's so cool, yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. So once we do that, once we, oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, just like that. Just like that, it broke. Just like that. Everything can happen. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put these together. It's really an advanced piece of technology. Yes. It has to take its time yeah, to put yeah. it together, As right? You can see, Don't rush it. No, no. The best work is when you take your time. Exactly. <laughs> we can go ahead and save it. Again, kind of like how we did the character right. change gate into this power pedestal. And then capture it like so. And then we can go ahead and select it again because it's saved. All I need to do is run over the pedestal. And yeah. now I have a drillinator. We like to put drill in it. Look at, those, look at that. Yeah. That looks incredible, yeah. though. Yeah. We now, like when you're <laughs> spinning it, that looks so good. Yep. Yeah. And all I'm doing is pressing R1. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yep. And some of the things that the drillinator can do is obviously oh, no. drill through rocks. <laughs> drill yeah. through hot rocks. Yep. And to be fair, this is actually one of the, the simpler <laughs> uh, power ups that. Is it now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Go. Yep. We got a avalanche or like a little toggle over there yeah. trying to throw rocks at us. Being a jerk. <laughs> but that's what you do. They just want to ruin your yeah. day. Yep. And it makes everybody so happy. Yep. I'll oh, free your friends. I'll free your friends. Look how free scared he was. Look at him. <laughs> now that is get all this fresh air. Guy. Fresh Poor air guy. now. That's all you needed. Yeah, so the next power up that I'm going to show you, I call this the balloonator. Anything can be an innator. Pump it up. Yep. We Pump like to, it up, innator. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Twitchinator. Yeah, Twitchinator. Twitch yeah, yeah. Streams. Stream Streaminator. Streaminator. <laughs> all streams all so, yeah. the time. I made this, again, using a blaster handle. Um, one of those handle objects there. It okay. doesn't have to be a handle object. I could put, again, a banana. Oh. And everything like that. And I also <laughs> added um, this new feature called the decoration mount, which okay. allows us to, like, you know, resize the way stickers are. So it can go really big, really small, oh. so on and so forth. And of course, with a little bit of logic as well, it, this one allows Sackboy. To yeah. Fly long you do it. And see, swoop. Round of applause for swoop. And the birds just are so happy yeah. that he was able to make you that jump. You did it. You did it. <laughs> and he, another. Cool he thing. did it without wings. Yeah. He Definitely. did it on his uh, own way. He's basically evolution right now. Yep. Right. It's happening. It's happening. So another cool thing that I can do if I have some objects that are a little too heavy for me to push around, just pop them out yeah, of the way. Yeah, as I say, it's like an airbag. Yeah, exactly. Good old punching bag. Easy. Of course. Yep. Glide slowly down here. Excellent stuff. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that was so that was close. precarious. Yep, very close. And not only that, not only objects I can push, get oh. these little bad guys out of the way. Get them out of there. Get away. Go away. We don't need you. Don't ruin the stream. <laughs> Ooh, Those are stream that, monsters. Okay. Yeah, stream. Get them stream <laughs> monsters away. Yeah, stream monsters done. So, another cool thing, like I said, you can make anything into a power up. We have a fork. Yeah. But what does the fork do? You tell me, man. Uh, this, right. is, this is an open so, world of, yep. of magic. We have some puzzles here, a, pu a little puzzle here. It looks like I can't get past it. So I need that alligator odd sock that's sleeping to, to move over. Move the, to, yeah, the crank. Move the, yeah, yep. exactly. So how do I get his attention, though? How do you lure an odd sock? That's yep. the question of the day. We use chicken. <laughs> <laughs> of course. It made so much sense. Where did that chicken come from? Yep. So this is the chicken and forkinator. Pattern pending. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that Whoa. our alligator all outside can go back to sleep. Okay. Yep. And then? You didn't get no chicken, though. Yep. No ah. chicken. No, no. Yeah. Oh, the chicken just <laughs> dissolves, man. It's like uh, the symbiote suit from yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah, definitely. Chicken and the fork, like, one. Yeah. So, yeah, those are some of the really cool things that you can do with Little Big Planet. That's yeah, rad. Yeah, because we've added so many new features. Uh, I think we've added 70. Tools, 70 new tools. You should know, you yeah. got it though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've enhanced a lot of the, the ones yeah. from Little Big Planet 2. And also, uh, we've added some from Little Big Planet Vita as well. This is the most comprehensive Little Big Planet uh, and, ever. Right. And to be fair, what we're showing here, it's a, it's a really big deep dive into like the create mode. I mean, on the spectrum of things, it would be more on the hardcore than the casual. Right. Yeah. But We've also added a lot more things that we're, we're going to show later um, that make it a lot oh, yeah. more accessible. You know, we can, you can actually well, we introduce a lot of create features during the story mode, so you can get you give a little teaser like, oh, that, that's that, so was, cool. that was a lot easier than I thought it yeah, was. Yeah. Well, we had a lot of questions about backwards compatibility. So, like okay. we said, all the almost nine million levels will obviously work on your PlayStation 4, and they'll look glorious, better than they ever done before. Um, in terms of your profile, which a lot of our community ask about. We're on it, essentially. People, yes. We've had a lot of people. It's important to us that people who've played the franchise and been with us, like you say, for almost five years, yeah. are still supporting and still able to bring as much as they can to Little Big Planet 3. So we will, we have a lot to tell people. Yeah. <laughs> so we're kind of 
low legal yeah, information yeah, yeah. out there. So but don't worry, we got it. Yeah, we got <laughs> they this, got guys. It. We you got heard this. this. They got it. They're on it. They're and then I guess it. another question people have been asking about is whether or not, you know, because, you know, it is on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4. Yeah. As to whether or not their levels are kind of like being held back. Why are we not using the PlayStation 4's power? To be fair, on both the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4, we have this thing called a dynamic thermometer. Yes, yeah, so that feels like the right term. Yeah, it's definitely it sounds very science. Pretty. So, you, in a way, you can make really, really huge levels. We're essentially just letting go of the of the of the borders. So oh. you can go. You, know, you can make a, like an endless, endless runner. You can make an endless uh, roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my oh, goodness, that is. would be glorious. There it Done. is. Yeah. Job uh, done. I wanted to see it looping around. I want to see somebody make that. Just, yeah. Wow. It'll get there. It'll okay. get there. And oh, I'm sure I, it's going to show up on YouTube and everything like that. And then speaking of, you know, um, trailers and stuff, and one of the cool things about the little the, the, the PlayStation 4 version of Little Big Planet is that you can make your own trailers and attach it to the levels that you make. So it's almost kind of like a Netflix type viewing experience when you're going through levels. Like we use the um, the share factory function of the PlayStation 4. So what you do, you make your level, you play through a level, start recording, and then you go to add the, the add a trailer section. And then next thing you know, you're editing it in the trailer. You want it to show all the good bits of your life. That's awesome. Yep. Uh -huh. And then you just pop it on. Yeah. It's like that. That's well, there's so much there. Too much, man. There's no, too much. No, but how do you share that? Is there like a robust tutorial that's gonna say, "Yo, John, I know. Okay, this is what you can do." Just for you. Yeah, yeah a dedicated for one for you. For noobs, man. Like, no, it, it, it'll, oh, it'll, yeah. tell, it'll okay. show you how to well, do it. Well, we have tutorials for everything, and what we have is we have a community site called LBP.me, and we've had that for years. It's an amazing site where you can like queue up levels, direct your console, but we're rebooting it all to support the trailers, tutorials, yep. and make everyone have like a little big social network. We call it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. Yeah.